Yo, 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 yo. Just rolled into my Ducati dealer. It's a bow cycle in Calgary. Here she is. I don't know what more to say than, you know, it's a whole new bike, so maybe a whole new set of problems <laughs> or, or no problems, hopefully no problems. I didn't look at any of the paperwork, to be honest. I just signed it and said, let's do whatever they offered. So um, I'll get into details later on about all that shit. But this is just a quick little intro, me picking up my new bike. It's a 2015 Hyper Motard SP. She looks bitchin'. So what's different from the SP to the, the normal one I had just last week? Wheels, tires, brakes, forks, suspension. So rear, rear, Suspension, rear stuff, uh, whatever. Um, colors, seat, blocked out handlebars, blocked out forks, some carbon bits here and there, and some other cool shit that DSG tells me. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on it. Take it for a rip with no breakdowns. Holy crap, first thing I notice. She is much taller. Jesus. Like it's an inch or something. But it feels like a mile. No breakdowns. No breakdowns. They know better. The caddy knows better. No breakdowns. No breakdowns. No, oh, didn't even adjust my mirrors. It's. I think the rear set's different, like they're they're lower. So much is happening guys. <laughs> That's what happens when you go from the base model to the next model. The seat feels harder? I'm just making that shit up? I don't fucking know. It's it feels like the bike feels definitely it's not as bouncy bouncy. Wow, this is uh this is this is weird, guys. I, I own this bike, you know, for 3,000K, and this feels so much different. Like, what's going on? That's what light wheels, bigger brakes, and suspension does. Well, I'm actually kind of... This is a totally different fucking bike. People are like, oh, we're expecting a review to compare the two. I'm like, Pfft, same, same thing. Uh, no. No, it's not the same thing. First of all, I feel like I'm riding around in, in the clouds because this thing is taller. I'm a tall guy, I'm 6'2", and I tippy-toe this thing. Even more so than my last bike. And, uh, she's, um, I don't know, like, like, I don't know if you can see in the, in the shadow, but she's like, you know, she's tough. Wow. Oh, the indicator, I knew it. The indicator feels, I had problems with the indicator stocks, but I had problems with fucking everything on that last bike. But I tell you, brother, this thing is, hopefully this thing will, uh, you know, restore the, the faith in Ducati. So I know a lot of you guys, all of you fuckers on my Instagram and Facebook are like, what, Cellcat, again? You got another Ducati? Yeah, it's not the brand, guys. It was that one fucking bike. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna stop vlogging now because I'm boring myself. And I'll check in with all y'all later. Oh, now it's called Race, Sport, and Wet. Mine was called like Touring Urban and something. Oh my God, she is, she is different. I like the seat though. I'm just rambling, mumbling, and, and look at that view. <laughs> I'm just so fucking happy to be on a bike, so huge shout out to Bowcycle North, shout out to DSG, Ducati sales guy. Until I look at the paperwork and see how I actually got fucked over. <laughs> no, I'll look at that later tonight, I'll just be too busy trying to get on this fucking thing. Anyways, we'll chat with y'all later, Snowcat out. Nah, she was eye-fucking the shit out of this thing. Is it good? Bad? Good? Bad? Good? 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 Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, she is tall. Almost fucking fell over. 
That was embarrassing. I would put my foot down where my foot would have been on my other bike, but nope. Definitely not there. This is my motard stance. They're gonna like sit on my fucking thigh. <laughs> okay guys, so I finished up just the barbecue I was at. Um, so the bike still has a fresh 15 kilometers on her. And so far, absolutely loving it guys. Um, you know, it reminds me why I bought the bike in the first place. We'll see if this one's any more reliable. Uh, first milestone is passing 168k, because that's when my first bike broke down. That sounds disgusting. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is the 2015 Hyper Motard SP. I just, I'm just lost for words. Like, I've barely even ridden it, and just everything about it is just leaps and bounds better over the standard. I, I think I wouldn't feel it or notice it, and by any means, I'm not a, an amazing track rider. That's that's you know done thousands of laps that can feel it to be honest you know I thought I wouldn't be able to notice it but with this guy here like it's just it's just fucking bitch it I need to get obviously some more K into it to give a really good review about the SP over the hyper let's just get past the working bike first you know what I'm saying like for those of you just tuning in my previous hyper was a 2013 motard uh, brand new this year so 2015 and I've had three breakdowns within um, you know two months uh, breakdowns that left the bike stranded and and being repaired for two months um, so long story short is you know not the best history with this bike thus far and I'm hoping to hoping to fix that up with this guy I don't really vlog, I don't know what the fuck to say, so anyway, here's the bike update, got the new bike, loving the new bike, and we'll, uh, we'll check in with y'all la later. Keep it short and sweet for this one, super fast video, thanks everyone for your support and comments, you know, um, everyone's, you know, telling me that they feel really bad for me, um, buying a bike doesn't work, but, you know, it's first world problems, right? But, uh, you know, thanks everyone for the support, and uh, I'll post this video right now, tonight, so I got this bike today. Anyways, Snowcat out.